With legendary landscapes, wonderful wildlife, rich culture, and delicious food, the continent of Asia will blow your mind in more ways than you can ever imagine. Plus, it's a vast continent, so large that it takes up a third of the entire world's land area. The oldest civilizations, highest peaks, populous cities, and tallest buildings are all found here. But as you're about to see, that's not the only thing found in this place. It'll probably make you question what you think you know about this continent. 15 Most Mysterious Discoveries Made in Asia <laughs> 2,000-Year-Old Sword in 1965, a team of archaeologists discovered several ancient tombs located along the aqueduct of the Zhang River Reservoir in Jingzhou, China. The discovery turned up more than 2,000 relics, but none were more impressed or surprised than they were with the dubbed Sword of Gujian. This thing looks like it came out of some Japanese anime. The experts revealed the sword lying next to a human skeleton in a water-damaged tomb. The whole tomb was soaked and wet. It's not that unexpected, considered it's been soaking underwater for more than a thousand years. When the team was finally able to free the sword in a safe place, no one was expecting to see such a well-preserved artifact, especially one made of metal. The sheath, with its black lacquer finish, provided a near airtight fit around the ancient sword, say officials, providing the sword with a suitable state of preservation. Thanks to the protection from the air, the chemical composition of the sword was nearly untarnished and retained a dangerously sharp edge. The state of preservation was revealed all the more impressive when the sword was eventually dated to the spring and autumn period of Chinese history, which ranged approximately from 771 to 403 BC. That aged this relic of a sword at around 2,500 years old and placed it in a period of epic Chinese heroes that would have used a sword, many of whom have taken gained mythical status in Chinese culture. This sword will only add to that notion. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. Do our eyes deceive us? What they captured in Asia shocked the whole world. It might just be the biggest bat we've ever seen. Upright, this thing is as tall as a person and we can say the same about the incredible wingspan. But something curious about this creature is the fact that, unlike traditional bat wings, it has wings similar to a sugar glider marsupial or flying squirrel. The flight direction and speed of these animals in midair are varied by changing the positions of its limbs using a cartilage projection, connected from the wrist to the foot that the animals hold outward during a glide. However, this specialized cartilage is only present in flying squirrels and not in other gliding mammals. So maybe this isn't a bat after all. It can't be a giant gliding squirrel, could it? And what would you do if you saw this soaring over the jungle canopy in Asia? These hunters seem to have it under control, but the mystery remains. Maybe you can solve it with your comments below. Just use the hashtag Sweet Topic when you do. Sichuan Alien Masca a team of archaeologists exploring ancient ruins in southwest China were shocked to find a trove of strange artifacts and golden treasure predating the birth of Jesus Christ. Amazing, right? Among the most intriguing items recovered is a fascinating mask constructed from sheets of gold. According to the Sichuan Provincial Cultural Heritage Administration, over 500 items have been recovered from the site, with more turning up every day. It's being held as one of the greatest finds in archaeological history. This place covers a whopping 4.6 square miles in site in Sichuan and has been dated to be formed between the 12th and 11th century BC. The latest of treasure revealed is believed to hail from the late Shang Dynasty, which ruled from 1556 to 1046 BC. The head of the Institute of Archaeology reported to the Chinese press that the gold mask was not a standalone item, but was likely placed on a larger head shaped from bronze. That statue has yet to be recovered. The gold relic only weighs 0 0.022 pounds and measures 14.6 inches wide and 6.4 inches tall, making it light for being made with gold. Strange Spade Coins For most people, when they think of money, they think of dollars and cents. When people wish to purchase something, they use said bills and coins to equal the value of the product purchased. The notion is simple now, but when about a time where currency wasn't a thing, especially a national currency, let alone international. 
In ancient China, that value was represented by something much different than dollars and coins, by something that looks like an everyday tool. This ancient Chinese knife, spade, whatever tool it was, was used for that very purpose. Tools were very important in ancient days, so the placing of value was on more tangible things like food, water, and shelter. This is considered one of the first instances of a currency in ancient China, with the known first to be a cowrie shell. It was not until the spring and autumn period, around 771 to 476 BCE, that metal currency began to be used regularly. Metal, after all, wasn't an easy shape in mint like today. Some of the largest and most significant pieces were that of their tools and weapons. Knife, spade, and bridge money all have similar origin stories. These ancient, stylish coins were a derivative of agricultural tools that would have been bartered with. But notice numismatists and scholars call these coins or money rather than the tools they imitate. <laughs> India's Twin Town If you were to look at the number of twins born in this zip code, you'd be forgiven for thinking there's something in the water. Some of the residents even say as much, but the mystery runs much deeper. The water has been tested and proven nothing is inducing twin pregnancies. Gandido Godoy, a tiny agricultural town in southern Brazil, has accounted for a huge percentage of the world's twin births. According to a university study, 10% of births between the years 1990 and 1994 were twins coming from here. That's more than five times the state average. That same study revealed that 50% of those twins were identical. Amazing, right? Clearly, something bizarre is going on in the area. In the absence of explanation, myth and rumors fill its place. A more sinister explanation has gained some steam. 80% of residents here are of German descent. Shop fronts display German names, and antiquated German dialect is still largely dominating the area compared to Brazil's official language. According to this theory, a man by the name of Josef Mengele, a Nazi scientist referred to as the Angel of Death, is the reason for what locals are calling the Twin Revolution. The Nazi-turned-mad scientist was thought to have died near Sao Paulo in 1979, but first was reported to have visited the Candido Godoy in the 60s, where he was observed performing various obscure and mysterious tests on the locals, particularly the women who later gave birth to twins. The former mayor claimed that he went about his work under the alias Rudolf Wise and indeed conducted unfathomable experiments there after World War II had ended. <laughs> Curse of Codera A little 12 miles to the west of a desert town lies Codera. The vegetation on the road to the city is minimal and humans have all but abandoned the area. The docile straying goats have probably feasted on the last bits of human remains there. Kodera stands desolate and within an uneasy silence that can almost be heard. The village was abandoned by its people some 200 years ago after a curse had drained the land of its fertileness. During its heyday, Salim Singh, who was known for his debauchery and dishonest tax-collecting methods, set his gaze upon the beautiful daughter of the village chief. He was absolutely determined to have his girl, and he went as far as telling the other villagers if they got in his way, he would levy huge taxes on them. Fearing the wrath of the corrupt tax collector, most of the residents packed up and fled under the cover of night, leaving behind their homes and possessions within them. Codera was abandoned by its very own people. Just imagine seeing a thousand or so people migrating from their home. For generations now, no one knows where these people have resettled. All that's known is that before they left, they cursed the town that no one would ever be able to settle down in there again. And to this day, not one person has tried. <laughs> Amaranth Cave The Amaranth Cave, found in India, is considered one of the most famous shrines in all Hinduism. That's an extensive history of religion. Dedicated to the god Shiva, the shrine is reported to be over 5,000 years old and plays an important role in ancient Hindu mythology. Inside the main Amaranth Cave is an ice pillar resembling the Shiva Linga, which shines during May to August and gradually dims thereafter. This lingam is reported to grow and shrink with the phases of the moon, reaching its height during the summer's festival. According to legend, this is the cave where Shiva presented herself to Parvati to explain the secret of life and eternity. There are two ice formations that represent Parvati and Shiva's son, Ganesha. The site is a popular pilgrimage destination for Hindus, averaging about 400,000 visits during the 45-day open season around the festival of Shravini Mila. 
Devotees typically hike from long ranges, some up to 60 miles away, and complete the journey in around four to five days. That's one crazy pilgrimage. Western Sha Tombs While there are a number of different types of pyramids in the world, none stand taller and more majestic than those in Egypt. All other pyramids are simply expected to try and live up to the Great Pyramids, but none manage to capture the grandiose allure. That doesn't mean they're the only fancy tombs. Other rulers were buried in extravagant tombs and vast burial sites. The West Sha Imperial Tombs are some of the greatest aside from the pyramids. They're shaped like giant beehives and dot the many valleys in the region. In the whole tomb area, there are nine mausoleums along with 250 lesser tombs. The mausoleums hold the remains of the imperial leaders of the Western Sha Dynasty and the lesser tombs for their aides and generals. Angano Petroglyphs The Angano Petroglyphs are some of the most fascinating petroglyphs discovered on the planet. This is actually a museum constructed on the border of the municipalities of Angano and Binangonanan. The ancient petroglyphs are considered to be the oldest known display of rock art in the Philippines. There are all sorts of different subjects on the cave walls, including over 127 different human and animal figures. The wall itself is located in a shallow, sheltered area at the rear of a cave. The ancient site was discovered by a national artist and archaeological excavations were carried out soon after. 1965 revealed the first artifacts of the area that included some tools, fossil remains of a giant turtle, and ceramics that indicate the area was occupied and utilized during the Neolithic period. Experts estimate that this means the carvings may have been created earlier than 2000 BC, putting the age of the human petroglyphs at more than 4,000 years old. <laughs> Metal Fireworks If you didn't know, China was the first to invent fireworks. Back then, they required extensive work and craftsmanship to create, a clear opposite to today's inexpensive and easy fireworks. Still, in some villages, the art of firework making has been passed down from generation to generation. This means their fireworks are something magical and more technologically advanced than over-the-counter versions. Over 300 years ago, blacksmiths began their own explosive tradition to celebrate Chinese New Year. With fireworks in mind, blacksmiths would heat metal scrap to temperatures above 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. On a cold winter's night, they would scoop the molten iron and fling it at tall stone walls. Upon making contact, the molten iron would explode into thousands of sparks, creating an effect similar to fireworks. The annual festival of lights that formed around this unique tradition is called Da Shahua, which means tree flower. It's become a lasting tradition that's still only practiced in small villages. Villagers still save up scrap metal to donate for the annual celebration. The Butterball According to legend, the giant rock you see on screen magically stopped its descent on this balancing point. As you might have guessed, a boulder this size rolling down any hill won't stop for just anything, save for causing some major destruction in its path. So how the heck did this rock stop like this? Even scientists are baffled how the whole thing formed. The massive boulder is assumed to be a glacial erratic that got stranded in a chance position on the hill during the last ice age. However, folklore tells a very different tale. According to Hindu myth, when the great god Krishna was just a baby, he was fond of stealing butter from humans. He adorned the thrill of the hunt and the taste. Following the trend into adulthood, the deity is said to have dropped a massive dollop of pilfered butter on his mischievous journeys, and the butter ball is that dollop. Hence where the local name of Van Arai Kal, translated to Sky God Stone, originates. According to one source, the more playful name was given to the rock by an entertaining tour guide who had been showing off the stone for 20 years, and the name stuck. <laughs> black Eggs of Japan Legend holds eating just one of these black eggs can add seven years to one's life. Since no one knows exactly when they'll die, it's hard to determine what number that might mean. Owa Kudani, which translates to the Great Boiling Valley, can be found in the mountain town of Hakon. One can take a tram up to the hot springs or walk up the near one-mile path. On good weather days, either route delivers spectacular views of the majestic Mount Fuji. Once the springs are reached, Kuru Tamago, or black eggs, can be purchased five at a time. No more and no less. The eggs are your ordinary chicken's eggs, but the shell turns black due to being boiled in the hot sulfur spring. 
The rich minerals found in the spring dye the shell and permeate the egg with further nutrition. Local traditions say that for each black egg eaten, seven years is added to one's life, but that may just be an excuse to sell them at five at a time instead of a dozen for the same price, if not more. Others have chimed in to say that eating more than two is not a good idea. About 3,000 years ago, Mount Hakone erupted, leaving the hot spring-filled crater where it still stands today. All along the path to the egg vendor are active sulfuric geysers, which can be hazardous at certain times during the year. The area is prone to landslides due to constant volcanic activity, so if you're thinking about going, you best be prepared for anything. Ancient Wall Slide Why walk the ancient Great Wall of China when you can speed across it in a bobsled-esque car? Well, now you can. While it's true that millions of people dream of ever setting foot on the wall, there are other not-so-known about ways to enjoy the wonder as well. Tourists can choose whether to experience the wall in the traditional form by walking or by whizzing down it in a luge. Most visitors flock to the easily accessible Badaling segment, where they can walk the length and get a good perspective of its massive scale. If you've done that or already just want to experience the wall in a different way, you'll want to check out this attraction and it's just two hours north of the most touristy section of the wall. After ascending to the top, you can return to the base by rocketing down a steep, winding slide that offers unique views of the wall and surrounding vegetation along the way. An experience like that can't be found anywhere else in the world, including the other sections of the Great Wall. Stunning Sky Sanctuary Standing like three stars atop a pine tree of limestone, Thailand's legendary floating pagodas are easily among the world's most spectacular temples. The way they've stood so sturdy atop the mountain is impressive. If you've yet to hear of this marvelous place, feast your eyes on this dazzling sight. Located near Chiang Mai in northern Thailand, this sanctuary looks more like the handiwork of Disney World adventure creators than reality. Rest assured, these mystical pagodas in the sky are the real deal and have been shocking humans with their wonder for thousands of years. The temple complex comprises a golden pagoda, prayer hall, and clutch of white stupas clinging magically to the limestone pinnacles miles above the valley floor. Few tourism locations offer sites like this, so it'll take a bit of digging to get there. Mysterious Jars of Laos Are they alien eggs from James Cameron's film? Is it a massive food pantry? The plane of jars or jars of Laos is just as it sounds a huge stretch of land dotted with hundreds of large stone jars throughout the Zhang Quang region, located in the Lao Highlands. The jars have been fashioned with sedimentary rock and ranging from 3 to 10 feet in height and can weigh up to 14 tons each. Yeah, these aren't the type of jars you bring with you over your neighbor's house. These are the kinds that aren't moving for thousands of years, as evidence exemplifies. When these jars were constructed, they weren't going anywhere, heck, even to this day. The exact and reasoning for the jar is still unknown, though archaeologists are inclined to believe that they were utilized between 1500 and 2000 years ago for food preservation. That's quite a shelf life for something as simple as jars. Another theory suggests the jars may once have served as funeral urns, which could have stood as a valuable place in society all those years ago. As local legend would tell it, these jars were created by Kun Chung, the ancient king of giants. Iron Pillar of Delhi When you first walk up to this pillar, it might not seem that magical, but a little investigating reveals something otherworldly. The Iron Pillar of Delhi exemplifies the remarkable ability and technology of ancient humans in metalworking. That goes far beyond what we even understand today, let alone all those years ago. The extremely slowly rusting pole found in the middle of an empty square in Delhi, India has been dated to around 1600 years old, much older than the degradation of the pillar would suggest. Iron is a known rusting metal, so the ancient society that constructed the pillar had some impressive knowledge of rust proofing. Even when constructing iron like this wouldn't be prolific on the earth for hundreds of years later, even modern humans today have yet to create such an effective rust preventive system. So mad props to the ancients. Scientists are still spinning their heads trying to imitate their work. It's barely rusted since it was constructed all those years ago and has become a mystery leading some experts to include the iron pillar in a group of objects known as Oop arts, or out-of-place artifacts. These classified objects are said to be unreasonably futuristic for their time of construction. 
Asia is home to some of the most ancient stories and relic of human history. It's no wonder archaeologists love to excavate there, and they never know what they might turn up, as evidenced by this list. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to get all our lit content delivered right to your inbox.